Because if you are, then I got a mod list that will make your stalker anomaly experience a lot more painful to play. So originally I wanted to have 11 mods on this list, but after some research I found that two of these mods are quite problematic and can give you some crashes. So I narrowed it down to just 8 mods that work and are stable. Also one of the mods is brand new and it's still being tested. So let's start from the first 8 mods that work perfectly without any issues. Ardzi's Rotten Meat mod adds a new mechanic where muted meat rots after some time. Usually it's 48 in game hours. This tiny mod has a script which checks where you obtained the mutant meat, whether you cooked it or you stored it somewhere. Also, if you're using hideout furniture, expansion, you can use a fridge to store the freshness of this meat. Another mod that adds a new level of difficulty is the cold system mod. This mod adds a new script which checks what weather is currently occurring and then applies cold temperature to your stalker, which will affect your fatigue. If your stalker doesn't have a proper outfit, you will quickly get cold and after a while, your stalker can also get sick with a flu. Staying near a campfire, drinking hot tea or alcohol will keep you warm. Also, equipping mutant heights can help you fight the cold. This mod is highly customizable from the MCM menu, and it is compatible with any weather mod you have installed. Next, we got a very realistic mod. This is the body and health system, which overhauls the way you take damage and heal in Stalker Anomaly. No longer you can spam bandages and first aid because with BHS you have to exactly know how to heal your character body parts correctly. Every single medicine in the game will allow you to heal and post heal your body parts correctly. It takes a while to get used to this system. BHS also increases the risk of death with headshot injuries and torso trauma. Not difficult enough? Well, you can also increase the difficulty of the AI. With Mora's AI more covered mod, this mod makes the AI more cautious and the AI will take a lot more cover instead of running around in the open. Not only this mod will make the game a bit more realistic, but also makes firefights take a lot longer to finish and more difficult. Another annoying mod is Immersive Sleeping. Immersive sleeping disables the ability to sleep whenever you want and only allows you to sleep when your character gets tired. In order to force your character to sleep, you will have to shove down a lot of sleeping pills, which will make your character sleepy and tired. Now this next mod goes hand in hand with immersive sleeping, it's Dynamic Nocturnal Mutants, which spawns aggressive predatory mutants and zombies during the night. The mutants will under me spawn only during the night and hunt down any stalkers they find. I use both immersive sleep and nocturnal mutants in my ZCP playthrough and it is a nightmarish experience to say the least. I recommend you not to exaggerate with the amount of nocturnal mutants spawn, especially in story mode, as they will wipe out all the stalkers in Gordon. Well stalkers we are halfway through this video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of stalker anomaly and gamma guides and I love testing new mods and show them to the stalker community.
you want a bit more hair loss, then you can use Magazine Redux, which adds magazines to all vanilla weapons. No longer you press R and you magically reload your gun. With this mod you have to manually load each magazine, then you have to attach them to your outfits. Which in turn allows you to quickly reload your gun. Managing your magazines and attaching them to your outfit will be crucial to win firefights with this mod. Another mod that you can use along with Mag Redux is Looting Takes Time. Yes, this mod has the same looting mechanic like Tarkov. Every time you loot a body with this mod, it will simulate your stalker is searching for something to loot. I actually found this mod to be helpful because it allows the loot to spawn slowly and can reduce stuttering during loot. Also, it makes it a lot more difficult to search for items since it will take a lot longer to find the items that you want to loot. Now the next mod is new and it's still experimental. This is the Mugging Squad mod, which allows other stalkers to bully you and even extort money from you. Yes, you're gonna get freaky robbed by their stalkers. So this mod works by spawning a special squad of friendly stalkers around the area and when you get too close to them, they will point their guns at you and ask you to hand them some money nicely. Of course, you can always say no, but be sure to get your weapon ready as they will try to take you down. Now I've been using this mod for two days and so far it didn't happen to me yet. The mod author claims that it's very rare that this event will happen often, so I will try to and keep testing this mod. Now the next two mods can be quite problematic and players claim they can cause some crashes, so keep that in mind. So one of the mods is called NPC Loot Stashes. And yes, it will allow NPCs to loot stashes, including your personal stash. This is a mod you have to be really careful where to store your loot, as other stalkers will pretty much steal all your items. The last mod on this list is the NPC Claim Loot mod which makes NPCs angry at you if you try to loot someone they have taken down. With this mod on you will be forced to only loot stalkers you have taken down yourself. Now remember that NPC Loot Stash mod and NPC Claim Loot can cause some crashes so be careful and always test these mods for a few days before you add more mods on top of them. Hope you stalkers found this video useful, if you have any questions about these mods write down here below in the comments. I have a lot more exciting content for stalkers so make sure to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. Bye and thank you for watching.